Green, I hope your Tuesday is off to a good start. I'm here meteorologist Maria Ruiz. And Mariel, where do you want to start? There's a lot, with Cleo. Behind us. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we're dealing with obviously a tropical system, yeah. and there are several things in the Atlantic that I'll eventually get to. Mm -hmm. But the thing that's causing our intense heat here is what's keeping this from bringing us any moisture across the area. And we will continue uh, to see this uh, tropical storm eventually weaken as it moves towards Laredo. And I'll show you that track a bit closer in. But Tropical Storm Herald now has 50 mile per hour sustained winds and it's gusting at about 60 miles per hour. Here's a close up of how it made landfall on Padre Island. Landfall is when the center of the eye makes it onto land. And that's exactly what we saw. So I'm going to pan out here and I'm going to show you a little bit more of that rain band, heavy rain extending from Encino to Kingsville, Corpus Christi at the moment, Rockport seeing some light rain. I and mean, this is just going to be a very good rainmaker for South Texas that is definitely needed. But meanwhile, tropical storm watch and warnings continue along the South Texas coast. And for good reason, we showed you those images out of Galveston. You can see the really choppy waves uh, making themselves on shore. So this is going to continue eventually taking more of a westward track here, moving over Laredo sometime this afternoon. By then it will be a tropical depression and then it moves right over Mexico back into the Big Bend area as a remnant low sometime Wednesday morning. I mean, this is not going to be a big rainmaker for most of Texas. Let me show you how it's moved here. This is between now and this afternoon. You can see it starts to really dwindle down its area of coverage, but look at how far that cloud cover extends. Some areas Areas of Abilene and Waco could see some of that cloud cover. No rain for North Texas. Look at how dry it gets uh, really the rest of the day into tonight. Meanwhile, some of that beneficial rain does get carried into areas of Big Bend National Park here sometime Wednesday uh, throughout the morning. By the time that moves out, I mean, we're not going to see any of the benefits. The high pressure is what dominates our weather. That's what's keeping Harold towards the south. Maybe our southern counties could see some cloud cover. One to three inches of beneficial rain, although in the form of some flooding for south Texas. Look at that hole over north Texas. That's where we see the excessive heat warnings. By the way, that's not changing. Triple digits continue the rest of the week. I'm going to break down those numbers because some of those will be record-breaking. Cleo, I'll get into that here in just a few moments. All right, Marielle, thank you so much.